All right, who's ready for a Ulta drugstore haul? Um, oh, I picked this up for my other daughter in medium, and I got her the brush. And I went ahead and got me a smaller um, tartan and twine uh, makeup bag for $5.97 on sale. So I have the two larger ones and I have the smaller one just for going out real quick and throwing some makeup in here. I went ahead and bought me the Ulta 50 Premium Oval Cotton Pads. Um, they're oversized and quilted for added strength. Pure cotton. These work good. Um... I went and got the, the, they keep running out of the hula light, and I went and finally there was a couple in stock, and that is the hula light, so I wanted to pick this up, but they kept going out of stock, so I finally got it in store. Excuse my lighting, it's dark outside. I have a candle from Bed Bath & Beyond and a lighter ready. This is Sunny Coconut and it smells so good in case electricity goes out from all of our floods and storms that we've been having. And I got the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana. They finally had one left because I had been looking for this. I was looking for this too and this is the chocolate vice palette I have the gold one look at that that's so pretty packaging and trying to open it you guys it comes with the sponge brushes the eyeshadows are beautiful I don't know if you will see it but the colors are gorgeous. And let me tell you something. Everyone throws away these sponges. These sponges are good for packing on the powder. I saved mine. So, great drugstore makeup. I also got the Revolution Flawless Matte 2 Compact. This one does not come with a brush. But it comes with, and no, nope, it's very hard to see the colors because of the lighting in here. I'm sorry, I don't have a good camera, guys. But they're very beautiful. The camera is not picking up the colors in the rows. I don't know why, but they're gorgeous. Great drugstore buy. Great products. Makeup Revolution is the bomb. I also picked up the Big Love by Makeup Revolution. And this is kind of like set up like the Too Faced Love Palette. And again, I'm so sorry that the lighting in here is dark and you will not be able to pick up on the colors but they are very beautiful so again makeup revolution great great stuff I also got the makeup revolution makeup uh, pro HD strobe I wasn't sure if these were powder or cream but they're cream But good lord, they are really, really gorgeous. Make sure you watch this. Oh, now these two are powders. And they are really pretty. And um, you really have to see this in person. I'm a glow freak. Anything that's illuminating, highlighting, I tend to grab. So that was another makeup revolution. 
Um, Makeup Revolution also has this uh, hypnotic. It's a strobe bomb. Now, with a bomb, it's creamy, but good lord, look at this color. It is, well, it's gorgeous. And I know you're not going to be able to see it that well. But I also use bombs, and then I'll place uh, powder highlighters over the top of it. This is a beautiful gold color. And again, I'm sorry you can't see it. And this is another thing from Makeup Revolution. Uh, what else do we got? Um, oh, at Essence, I wanted to try Contouring Palette Shape Your Face. It has a peach blush. It has a, well, the highlighter looks like just a powder I'd use to, under my eyes. And a peach blush. Very, very pretty. And the contour. Ooh, it's a little chalky. I'll have to work with this. So I wanted to try that by Essence. Um, now, I bought me another NARS lipsticks. I'm trying to collect them all. And this is Jane. That's Jane. Oh, I don't know why the colors are not enhancing on here. What's going on? I'm going to have to fix some of these settings. And I wanted to try one of the Pure Velvet Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Mm, come out of here. And I got this one in Innocent. And I love this color because I'm into that mauvey brownie type colors. It was the darkest color I could find by Pure. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, now... This is the Lorac Love La La Los Angeles I Love Brunch Pro Palette. And I'm going to be real honest with you. It comes with a brush and eyeshadow primer. Okay. These are the tiniest eyeshadows. And it's a pastel. Um, I don't recommend you buying it. There's not a lot of color payoff. I think it's way too expensive for $45. They have better palettes. I don't know what they're thinking about this one. I will have to try it. It reminds me of Easter eggs. And I'll have to try it with primer on. But I went ahead and buy it, bought it for myself because I'm kind of a collector. But um, I would spend my $45 on a, a better palette. Just to be honest with you guys. Now I did buy, which I don't regret, was their new um, highlighter, Light Source, and this is the I Love Brunch collection, and this is Limelight, if you can see that. And I do love this highlighter. I'll put it on really dark so you can see a little better. Um, it is beautiful. Iridescent. Oh, it's gorgeous. 
I use colored highlighters, believe it or not, and I really love them. So I think these are $23. I will definitely get a lot of use out of that. And I bought the two buildable blushes. They are buildable. I got the color in, what color is this one? Paranormal Satin. Because I love a pinky lavender color. They're very light, as you can see. Oops, and a little powdery. Now that is a lavender pink color and it's probably not showing up on my camera but I love it it's gorgeous and they're buildable and I got their other color in Luna satin which looks to be a pinky let's try it out here Well, I don't know why you guys can't see. It's a pinky, a little bit of peach. And they are buildable. So I'm happy to try those. And I'm loving the lavender blush. Big time. Um, I got me an extra... Um, Stila is cruelty free now, everybody. Stila is cruelty free. I bought me another one of these because I'll be using Molten Midnight a lot. Let's just rub it between our hands and make sure everything's mixed up. I love all the colors. But this is like black underneath with beautiful glitter. I've been loving using these. They are just awesome. I'm so glad they came out with these. Um, I bought another one of the Revolution Strobe Highlighters, and this one is in Moon Glow Lights. Now, this is a very subtle. More of a subtle matte type highlight. There it is there. I don't know if you can see it. The color looks kind of a light, light fold of pink. And it's very, very subtle. It's not very shiny or glittery at all. Um, I went ahead and bought me the Stila Hue Highlighter. I know I have it in the 3 kit. But I do enjoy using these. And this is the bronzer color. It is gorgeous. I love these. I don't care what anyone says. They go on very beautifully. It is right here. And it is a bronzy color. But it is beautiful. So I have all three now. And then I have the kit that has all three in there. But I do like these, and I will use these. Now, NARS, I wanted to get the um, blush in Sin. And they finally had it in. So I grabbed Sin. I love this color. This color is beautiful. And... Look at that. This color is just whew, 
Look at that. Go easy on the brush. This color is beautiful. I've been wanting this for a while. It's not showing as dark as it is. I lightened it up and swatched it out a little, but Sin is a gorgeous blush by NARS. Oh, goodness. Okay. The last thing I bought was Mally. She came out with the Effortly Airbrush Blush and Highlighter. So you get a little blush and a little highlighter. And you get a little... Ooh! My poor brush. They smushed it in there. You get a white side and a black side brush. It's kind of smushed in the package. And you get a small... Pretty pink blush. These are very small. Kind of expensive. It is a very pretty pink. And let's put that there. On the other side you get a stardust. Very small um, highlighter and it's like gold. It's beautiful. I'm not sure you can both see that. Let's put it on the tattoo. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it is very pretty, but these are really small for the price. So I bought a lot of drugstore makeup. That is very, very good. Makeup Revolution has some great stuff. Definitely has some great stuff. Um, I don't know if I forgot something else, but, you know, I'm hoping you'll be able to see some of these swatches. I'm loving what I bought. I went to the drugstore and I bought me the Nexus Color uh, Assure Color Vibrancy Shampoo Step 1. I should have got all the steps, but I just bought this little one shampoo. No big deal. Um, for my elbow, for the muscles, I bought... It's number one clinically recommended. It's a gel. It's BioFreeze Cold Therapy Pain Relief. It's for arthritis, back pain, sore muscles, and joints. And I've been using a lot of this on my right elbow. It is an icy cold feeling like you have a little ice on you. Um, it's not cheap. Um, I'll probably use it pretty fast. But... I really like that. Um, I got two Essie polishes. Actually, one is a top coat. And the second looks black, but I think it's a... Let me see. It is called Hang Up the Heels and Top Coat. I like their new shapes. They're pretty trippy. Hang up your heels and the top coat. And I also grabbed me an OPI nail polish, which is called um, Dank Shiny Red. And it has a little bit of shimmery glitter in it. So I got me this OPI color. Um, I went ahead and grabbed, this sucks, this is Perfect Sense, an impression of Terry Mugler Angel for Women, it's a spray cologne, at first you might get a little scent, and then it smells dank, 
It's bad. Don't buy these. They suck. Ugh. I can't even give that away to someone. Then I saw this NYX propel my eyes, and it has this propeller on it. So I thought it would be some fancy... Where'd it go? <laughs> I thought it would be some fancy, fancy mascara. And there's the wand. I see the packaging pictures always get to me. But I will try this, and I will let you know if it was any good. But I bought it like an idiot because packaging has this airplane propeller. So I thought, ooh, this must be something special. Silly of me. Now my favorite Essence of Beauty um, uh, Signature Collection Body Mist. They still don't have my favorite one, which is white, and it's kind of like gardenia. So this is supposed to be a new scent. It's Rose Enhancements. And let me see. Not my favorite. It smells like rose. But it is not highly scented like the white one I have. That's more of a gardenia scent. So this is a new one. It's so-so. Um, I wanted to try the NYX First Base Primer Base. So this is like the pre-spray. So I'm going to try that. And I bought me two big old receipts. Uh, where'd the other one go? Okay, I bought me the Physician's Formula Argan Wear Ultra, Ultra Nourishing Oregon Oil Blush. And I got two colors. This one is natural, which of course you guys know, all this beautiful gold shimmer goodness is going to rub right off. See? So don't buy it because of the packaging. But I bought this blush. And then I bought a darker pink blush, which is uh, rose. I might as well go ahead and open it and get rid of these boxes. And I bought the rose color, which is beautiful as well. But just remember that gold prettiness is going to rub right off. You're going to get a little pretty rose color. Where'd it go? All right, here we go. You're going to get a rose, a rose color with gold, but it's going to rub right off so that won't last. But they're very pretty, so I bought those. Okay, everything wants to fall. Um, then I wanted to try the Positions Formula Mineral Wear Airbrush Pressed Powder Mineral Talc Free. 16 hour airbrush finish SPF 30. Let's get rid of the boxes. I, I do not need to save boxes. Let's just rip into it. Okay, guys. So, this is a 16 hour wear mineral powder that doesn't want to open. I don't know what's wrong with... Oh, no. Oh, you push it in and it pops. And it didn't have a color. It was translucent. So, ooh, it feels very creamy. This feels really, really good. And it looks a little promising. It looks very high coverage, but then it can be sheared out. So I bought that to try that out. Um, I bought two of the NYX Ombre Lip and I cannot, oh, one is Cookies and Cream 
The other one is Cinnamon and Spice because I like to ombre my lips. So I bought those two colors from NYX. And from Maybelline, I bought the Strobing Liquid by Face Studio Illuminating Highlighting uh, in Light Iridescent Light Claire 100. So I will try that. Um, I'm missing a lipstick. Where did it go? Well, I'm missing one lipstick. And it might have fell out in something else, but I bought two Revlon lipsticks. This is Iced Mocha Pearl. Yeah, I'm missing one. What the heck? Maybe she didn't put it in the bag. I bought two lipsticks, but I only see one here. Okay. And this is Iced Mocha. It's a pearl lipstick. <sighs> wow, that is beautiful. Uh, my other mocha lipstick's missing. It's not in the bag. Uh, and anyways, let's just get on with this. I bought three more of the Infallible Paints by L'Oreal. I bought the color Nude Star. I bought the color uh, 310 in Topless. And I wanted to get a red, so I bought 324, and this is DIY Red. So I'll give you an update on these. I know I have a couple more. I am mad because my lipstick's missing. I got two lipsticks, and it's not in my bag. So... I'm going to have to look for that. Because sometimes stuff falls in other bags. And no, I can't find it. That's why I, I... You know, sometimes they don't bag all your products. Anyways, I was looking for cherries in the snow. Cherries in the Snow is my favorite lipstick, and I'm really heartbroken because I cannot find Cherries in the Snow. So I hope you guys liked the video. Sorry it took so long. God bless, and have a safe Wednesday.